Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Russian Fishing 4 and today I am at Tunguska uh, doing uh, this drifting uh, fishing method here. And I'm hoping uh, for greatness today. Uh, I've spent a few hundred bucks, actually over a thousand bucks, buying uh, these spikers and a new rod to, uh, to see how this, how this method goes. I'm just gonna release this, it's pretty small. Uh, basically I have my alpha, which is, which I'm not using anymore, right? And I've just put in a 10 kg line and a 9 kg leader. Uh, that's big. Uh, from what I hear, 9 kg leader is the max you want to go. And I've set, uh, I've set a, uh, clip accordingly compared to how long the line is. And based on that, I am fishing here. So let's see how many fish we can catch. It's my very first time doing this, so I'm going to be a little bit slow here. Because uh, it's hard for me to tell what line has a fish on, on what and what line doesn't. Oh, that has a fish on. Oh, wow. Now remember, uh, these are small lines and leaders, which means I cannot crank our resistance too high because our reels are very overpowered in comparison. And right off the bat, oh, that's a taman. 2.68 kg taman, hot damn. We have to be careful of those suckers. Come on. There we go. So usually you just want to use your old setup here. And, uh, wow, <laughs> it's just fish after fish after fish. I love it. Oh, wow, look at that pink salmon. Heck yes. I think we already have a line on our fish on our middle setup here. Uh, we just pick this up. Nope, nothing on that. And I keep forgetting I have to press 1, 2, 3 accordingly. Uh, to expedite the process. So depending on what gets the fish, maybe I should recast this middle rod here, but I think the line is going to go out by itself. Really hard to, oh, there we go. Number one. Yep, it has a fish on. So you see at the bottom right beside my alpha, there is a circle with a white line in it. That's our spool, obviously, to the left of it. Oh, wow, look at this. East Siberian Grayling. Nice. Okay, throw this out. So you see how it's white right now? That means it has the clip engaged. As soon as I get a fish, or as soon as it hits its maximum clip distance, it will turn off. Meaning we either have a fish on or uh, we just uh, don't lose our, our entire line. So I'm really happy for that. That's something really cool. I think I should just uh, recast this guy here. Oh, we have a fish on. That's why. Ha 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 ha. That's going to be one thing I'm going to have to get used to because uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to tell if I have a fish or not. Look how far this uh, line went. I have a feeling this guy ha is has a fish on. It's been a while, so I'm just going to check. What are you? Ooh, a muxin. Nice. Look at this guy. I apologize for that stupidness. How the fish is just uh, derping around. I just need to restart the game. Unfortunately, I need to run all the way back for this. So it's going to take me some time if I do do that. But if it gets worse, I will definitely restart and see how it goes. What is this? An eyed. Wow. Okay. So many new fish and I'm just so excited. Wow. Uh, so at night time, I bought more Aquilas. Uh, the black ones, because at night time, you, you want to use something dark here. <gasps> what? A, ch a Siberian Charloach. Whoa. You know what? I am going to restart the game and I will be back shortly. By then, I think it might be becoming morning. Let me just... Uh, there we go already. Let's catch uh, the fish on all of these rods first, and then we can go ahead and uh, restart the game again. 
Sharp snouted Lanook. Oh my god, the money and XP we're gonna make is just insane. Look at that, three minutes? And we have this many all markers. Now obviously I'm catching the non-markers as well, but... Uh, it is just insane. I don't think I have a fish on this, but I'm gonna just pick it up anyway. Yeah, we don't have it. So let's just hold this, and you will just keep looking at the bottom. You see how there's a shield? The leftmost circle, how it has light on it, I think. Not I think, it should turn off as soon as we get a fish. Uh, so let's just wait and see. You know what? I think it's dark and uh, our green spiker, not a killer, green spiker is not effective anymore. So we're going to have to put on the black spiker. So I think it might be a little too late uh, for this rod here. Yeah, see how when I turned it off, when I locked the reel, uh, how that shield icon turned off. All right, so guys, I'm going to quickly restart and be right back. Hello. What do I have on here? I was just changing this to uh, the black spiker because I thought it wouldn't work. But uh, whatever the heck this is, is this a catfish? Oh, man. This is definitely a catfish. Oh, no. We can't spend too much time on this guy because uh, we got to reel our other lines in if they do catch a fish on. All right, let's look away. Okay, remember this technique? Yes, mister. Yes, you got this. You got this. Don't freak out. Oh, it's a damn tame and look at that 5kg. No wonder. All right, let's change this to black. Holy moly, it's still working at night. That is just insane. All right, do we have anything on our number three here? No, we do not. Number two here? Yes, we do. <laughs> wow. Uh, these tamens are uh, are scary. So, I honestly thought that was a... Oh my god, look at that brown trout. Nice. I thought that was a catfish of some sort. I did not think it would be a tamen. Uh, good thing it did not run, because holy moly, uh, whatever the heck I got in the 17 meter hole it ran like crazy uh, i honestly thought it was a taman but it could be something else as well uh so far so it took me you know like four or five minutes maybe i would say uh but it's okay I, i'm not gonna add that to our one hour total of fishing uh but so far look at the amazing uh, diversity taman pink salmon muxen moxen muxen Eyed, sharp, snouted, Lanook, brown trout. I bet there's more fish to catch. There we go. Man, this spot is just amazing. Uh, oh, you want to fight now, huh? Oh, no, you don't. That a sharp, snouted Lanook. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Oh man, I am finally doing a good Antunguska. Oh, I did not have much luck at trolling. Uh, but you know what I'm still gonna say? Trolling, it just needs more time. I think. Uh, the first time was okay. Ooh, look at that. Our Most of our line is almost out. So let's go ahead and just reel this in. And let's cast it again. Unfortunately, I did not think. I just bought 100 meter lines. And I was supposed to buy at least two or 300 meter lines. So, uh, wow, look at how far down it went. I'm probably going to have to uh, rebuy uh, buy the better lines. Because this is too short. It's, uh, the issue is if I get another taming, a big one, uh, then I'm going to get spooled so easily that uh it's just it's gonna be stupid so uh 120 meter line we we can handle 198 meters off this 11 kg line so i should have uh done a better job i didn't think about it you know that's that's the issue 
All right, so maybe at night time it slows down a little. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and uh, find out. All right, let's see what we got here. I think my other rod, this one has one too. No, probably not. Uh, it's going to be morning soon, so we can uh, go ahead and change those spikers. But for now, we will keep them on. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I was going to stop it just to have a look. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, great. Wow, this fish uh, hooked on very far from our spot. Let's see what we have here. Oh man, I can do this all day. It's so enjoyable. You know, since these fish are brand new to me. And I don't even know how much I'm earning right now. It remains to be seen. Round trout, not big enough. Let's throw this here. So I've been here 19 minutes. So the fish in my bag have gone down, the marker fish. Five minutes ago, we got our last marker. That's when nighttime came in and it just slowed down. So I think it's nighttime might be to blame. Uh, but let's see what happens. Do we have a fish on this? No, we don't. We don't. Do we have a fish on this? No, we don't. I just look at the shield and that tells us what we have, what we don't have. No, we don't. Uh, so this is going to be one thing I will have to learn on seeing. The line will usually go backwards when a fish is on. Uh, but after picking the rods up, I sort of messed that up. All right, look, look at this. It's a beautiful morning and the sun is still not uh, passing through the trees here. <clears throat> Uh, so I think a few more minutes to go and we will have the sun on top of us. Ah, Moxen. Uh, should I keep this? You know what? Let's keep it. Why not? Not like I'm... Like I have a boatload of fish. I can always uh, get rid of... The non-markers. Hmm. Still learning. Still learning. Alright, this fish was... Pretty close. Uh, let's not reel it in, reel it in uh, fully. Oh, never mind. The fish is just so so slow. It just uh, it goes right towards you. And is it me or is it all of a sudden lagging? Oh, I think our line is just about done. Isn't that weird? I think it's the time. Uh, that is playing with us right now. Uh, maybe it's the light light of the sun, you know, the way it's coming up. Maybe that's what's making it lag. We got something over here as well. Something small, probably a non-marker. Uh, what are you? I, I have no idea. You're decent sized. Sharp snouted Lanuk. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and change this over to Spiker to 18. Let's cast this out and uh, let me see if I have anything on my third one here. Yes, we do. Man, you just got to reel them in uh, from uh, such a distance. What are you? Another one. Sharp snotted Lanuk. Let's throw that there. Let's check the second one here. Oh, I keep forgetting uh, to changing the spiker. Oh boy. Okay, this is a nice sized fish. I'm happy. As long as it's not a taming. Anything else that pushes this hard means it's going to be a uh, big fish. Holy moly. Stop it. Okay, stop it. That's a taming for sure. Let's decrease it back to 16. Is that a taming? No, that's a 3 kg arctic char. Nice. They make it all the way up to the river too. Wow, these uh these black ones are still working during the day. I think all of our rods have something on it. Let's turn our lights off. There. 
Light off, right? Yeah. All right. Do I am? Yeah, just the bite rate is so quick. Uh, we can check this out here. Let's check our third rod. Yes, we have something on this as well. Ooh, something nice on this one. What are you? What are you, Muxin? Moxin? Muxin? <gasps> no, that is a pink salmon. 654 grams. Nice. Uh, stop. Stop it. And I think we just got something on our second line. Yes, we did. Something very small. I think uh, this is probably going to be a non-marker. Anything on our other two lines? I'm not sure if number one is just reeling out or if we have a fish on it. Ooh, Siberian Charloach. I would love to get a big one of this. Uh, look how clean the texture is. They've done a good job. I know I keep saying it, but... Nope. Nothing on this. Alright, so we finally catch a, a breather. Uh, we just need that Siberian, that mustache fish uh, with us. I need a marker of that because I don't have it in my collection of all of these cooled and different fish. I, we even have an Arctic char now. Uh, so that's pretty darn cool. Alright. We have another one and it, the black spiker is still working somehow. Uh, that is, yes, a nice, sharp, snouted lunatic. I thought it was a mustache, mustache fish. I'm so excited, I can't even talk right now. Alright, I have no idea what other rods have a fish on, so I'm just going to check them. This has a fish on. Good thing it wasn't so far out. Let's pull this in, and this is... A pink salmon. This is so small, it hasn't even developed its colors yet. Let's look at rod number one. Yes, we have something on this as well. Nice. You know what? This is very relaxing. Uh, I just hope we get something big. I mean, I've been hunting for big fish for such a long time and I've never gotten them. That I guess this is a nice change of pace. Another muxin, unfortunately... Not big enough. No, nothing on. Oh man, I thought there was something on. Yeah, it's it's nice scenery. The sun is out. It's really nice fishing, and the water is sort of well done in on this one. Uh, so that's why you know it actually it actually looks like you're fishing. Great. Do we have something on this guy now, or is he just being reeled out? Oh, we just got something on this. Yep. Nice. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully the thousand plus I spent today on Tunga Sky. I hope I make it back. And this is a Siberian railing. Finally a marker. And this is on the green one. Nice. Okay. Let's go to third one here. Yeah, we got a fish on. I can't even look at my fish net. <laughs> the bite rate is just so insane. But man, am I loving this. 15 marker of fish. Let's see how long it took us so far. Uh, to get this. Is that a moxin? A moxin? I think salmon another one. Not worth too much. Do I have something on this again? No. Do I have something on number one? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's how it goes. Another Siberian uh, East Grailing. Yes! East Siberian Grailing. Yes! Okay, let's take a breather here and look at our net. Alright, so we finally have East Siberian Grailing. We caught a few non-markers of those, but not until now we got that. Uh, look at this. 653 gram and 300 gram. So at this time, it's dark. As it grows bigger, it becomes more and more white. Look at that fin on top. It's so big. It probably helps it steer uh, really sharp turns and stuff like that. And if we look at pink salmon, let's go by weight. As you can see, it starts out very colorless and boring. As it gets bigger, it just gets more and more color. looks dirtier. 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. What do we have here? Something tiny? Perhaps? Guys, once again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And hot damn, we finally have a marker Siberian Char Loach. Yes! Oh, finally. You know, in the end, it's gonna tell... In the end, it's gonna tell... Uh, what's going to tell, I mean, is uh, how much we earn. And I really hope we earn a good bit of money in the one hour of fishing. Uh, based on that, it will determine how good or bad we have done. Even though we've caught, you know, so many markers of so many different fish. Pyramids to be seen here. Another one. Hot damn, look at that. Half hour and we have 19 fish so far. Alright, let's check here. Uh, oh man, on marker. I think all of our rods have something on it, so we're going to have to do this quick. Let's see here. Oh, come on. I need a big fish. That is another Siberian life. Is it? Uh, no, non-marker. We're going to catch a lot of non-markers here, which is fine because we are also catching a boatload of markers. And is this a Siberian loach? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm enjoying it so much. Guys, if you are too, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I need every bit of support I can get here. And that is... What is that? A pink salmon. Too small. We will let it go because conservation is important. What are you, Oxen? Wow, just barely a pink salmon. Oh yeah. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of big fish, but uh, here and there when they do come, it's like, very exciting. Because uh, even with the smaller setup, nothing is pushing our gear. But when something does, it's either a taman or a very nice sized fish. All right, what do we have here? Oh, sharp snouted Linux, another one. Nice. Okay, let's wait a little bit and see how it goes. Look at how much reflection there is of the sun. Oh, there we go. But something tiny here. I think our second hook might have something on, but if feels like the line is just going out on its own. This is very tiny. This better be that mustache fish. Oh, it's not a marker. Dang it. And as you can see, that stupid thing is happening again. Like, why? I've only been here 40... No, sorry. Not even 41 minutes. I'm here uh, half hour. And within half hour, this whatever weird bug is happening. And it's been like this forever now. Uh, I think it's been happening for a very long time, as long as I remember. See another one of those Siberians. Oh man, and not a marker. Uh, I don't think there's anything on our first one, but uh, oh, there is. Nice, okay. I shall take it. Oh, you know what I need to do? Make salmon. See, this one is fine. Yeah, this one is fine. You know what I need to do here? Uh, I guess I can't do that, huh? Okay. Uh, I know some of them. Uh, I don't remember how. Oh, no, that's on the bottom setup where you can uh, select a lighter tip so you can get a hold of smaller fish. Does our third one have any anything here? Yes, it does. Man, I just... Put it back, didn't I? We already have something on. Ah, uh, this is super exciting. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know any suggestions. Any concerns. 
Anything of that sort. Oh, wow. Both rods, I think, just got a hit. This looks like a decent sized fish. Oh, yeah. I think number two definitely has something on. Uh, is this a taman? Yes. Almost a one kilo sharp snouted Linux. I need more one kg fish. This is very small, so I'm guessing this is not mustache fish, which <laughs> which I keep forgetting its name. Uh, it'll come to me eventually. This shoddy memory of mine. Siberian Charloach. 24 webs. Something on our line. Oh man, wow. Uh, 25 fish in 44 minutes, and there we go. No rest for us at all. Oh no, we lost the fish. Did we even have a fish? My mistake. I thought we did. Alright, so I'll uh, be a little bit more patient and see how it goes. Okay, something decent here. What are you? 881 gram sharp snouted Linux. Oh, how I wish. For a 1kg plus. What is this? Another one of that mustache fish. Is this one going to be our marker? No. Loach. Siberian loach. That's what I need to remember. Alright. What are you? What are you? Uh, sharp snouted. Almost a marker. Uh, my other two rods are just... Not doing well. I think I moved spots. Oh no, they are doing well. There's just such a current, I guess. Ah damn. There's a real current here because I am right. I was fishing over there last and then I ended up moving here. So let's see how this goes. I guess I have a fish on this guy as well. Hmm. What are you? You are very white. <gasps> a muxin. Yes. A 1.2 kg muxin. Nice. All right. Let's check you out. Yes. You had something on. Oh, yeah. You are. You are. Uh, The loach. Yes. I remember the name, guys. Not the mustache fish. But the loach. Oh, we got something on our number one. Oh, we definitely got something on our number one. Uh, so while we enjoy this scenery here and the clouds are rolling in, uh, there isn't any forecasted rain for the entire week. Uh, loach. More loaches. I think our number two has something on it as well. I, I'm like, I sort of am reeling kind of slow here. Uh, but it's just the different reels. Although we, I'm using the same reels in both, so uh, yeah, the speed is the same. All right, our hour is almost up, guys. So uh, these last fish are gonna be it before we go and tally up how much we made in one hour. Let me just show you my net once again. <gasps> Siberian sardine Cisco, yay! <laughs> we got this from float fishing, but now we finally have it from uh, this drifting method. I'm not sure what this method is called, uh, but I believe it's drifting. Oh, I think number one has something on it as well. We are coming up to the final few minutes here. That's an, oh wow, look at that, a lake minnow. That is so cool. It's a non-marker, unfortunately, but uh, 56 minutes. Yeah, so we just have a little bit of time here. Let's try to get as catch as much as possible. Wherever we have to go. Oh man. We moved spots and we just got a lake minnow. I don't know if that was a fluke or... Oh, we... Okay, well. That was a lucky fish. And we have nothing on this. Okay, well. I'm gonna wait just a little bit here till we get one full hour down. But look at how many a marker fish there are. Not a whole lot of big fish, but I'm hoping that these will add up. 5k detainment at the very beginning. Arctic char... Taman. Look at that. Arctic char, brown trout, Siberian grilling, eyed. So many fish. 
Let's see here. What do we do here? What do we got? Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh man, I'm just non-stop picking up and uh, messing up the mojo here. Alright guys, I'm reeling in our very last fish. Before we uh, go and sell these, we have to check the cafe. I really hope I don't forget to check the cafe. Another one of those Cisco's. Put this back here. Do we have anything on this? Oh, I guess we do. Oh, I think we got uh, a fish on our third one as well. Okay, well, uh, our last two fish remain. <laughs> so that's great. We are making the most here. 31 fish. It's going to be in one full hour. Uh, your mileage will vary, of course. And uh, I finally put three points in my spoons. Uh, what is this? In a spinner bait. So hopefully we will have a better chance of getting a trophy. Uh, I think I might need to re-log for that to take effect. I really don't know. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. I am done for the day with the game anyway. I've been at it for a while now. And ooh, what is this? That is a brown trout. That is a 700 gram, 708 gram brown trout. Very nice. I love brown trouts. And we got nothing on this. Oh man. Let's just run. What if we run like this and get something on? Is that possible? I know I used to work in Belea. Uh, although I didn't run, I just, uh, oh, I used to walk down, you know, like walk the dog, basically. <laughs> well, I think it will work if we go backwards. Because, uh, against the flow of the river. That's when it will work. Right now we're going with the flow of the river, so, uh, I guess it's not going to do too good. Ah, stop getting stuck on these rocks. You're so annoying. Look at that beautiful view. Almost looks like Alaska, doesn't it? All right, let's uh, let's reel this in here. Okay, so uh, one full hour of fishing. Let's see what we got get over here. I know where uh, you sell the fish. I just uh, I need to figure out where the cafe is. Uh, so let's find the cafe. Oh, shut up, dog. Let's see here. So this is the tackle store. This is nothing. This is your workshop, probably. Uh, this is a grocery store. That is the boathouse. Aha. That's, ah, there we go, cafe. What is with these garbage fish? Mass from 6kg, are you serious? Even a 1kg was amazing for us. Wow, look at this Asian smelt. I've only ever got a, a non-marker of that. A pillid, no pillid for us. Perch, no perch as well. A humpback whitefish. Oh man. Wow, what? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, But that's fine. All right. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Nope. Not the boathouse. The fish market. Let's go by price here. Uh, that pink salmon worth 22. This is worth 20. Sharp snouted Linux 20 for a 1.2. Wow. These are very well priced fish here. Uh, Arctic char, of course. Look at this. 600 gram Siberian and grayling 18 kg. So in one hour, we made a 300 silver. Uh, that I would say is the bottom end as well. Uh, of earning at this spot like this. Not to mention I did take maybe 5 to 10 minutes off. Uh, when I was fishing at the spot here for different things. Uh, so I guess that's a well enough excuse for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah there you go. That's some insight on my first day at Tunguska. Uh, last video I trolled a little bit. People are having amazing luck. They're catching trophies. And I did not do too good, but again, this was only our first day. It's, uh, it will get better. I'm very sure the next time I do it. And uh, we tried the river here by the campsite right here. And then we moved down, uh, I believe here. No, over here. 
and we still did pretty good with the occasional breaks that I took. Uh, so overall, it's Tunguska finally made it up for me. Uh, I was looking down, but it's pretty darn good. I will keep fishing and trolling and hopefully provide more videos for you with better fishing. And uh, hopefully I can level up my my harvesting bait until I can get this get this larva. I'm at 72%, but I need to make loads of money. And right now I don't have any money. I was at 1200 bucks, I believe. Uh, when I came to Tunguska and now I'm not so as long as this keeps going I am going to do pretty well level up and then go for the sturge anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and I hope to see you in the next episode until then guys enjoy